I want to share my experience with the new Big Fix app for QRadar version 2.0. I installed it in my system. It installed very cleanly. It took, I didn't have to uninstall anything. I just installed the new one on top of the old one. It migrated what I already had. The only thing I had to do in it was to go into this section Xfold. Xforce malware reputation, very cool. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. And I put my API and uh, key and, and, and password. And here is the description how you, anyone can get his Xforce ID. It's a free thing. And I also went here under application options and selected the option to show refresh data, which I find very useful. Let me actually go to the application. That refresh data is actually very good because the, this app, uh, the, um, there are some data that goes and you fetch that via APIs dynamically, but there's all the data uh, that it uh, refreshed, I don't know, periodically, every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't know exactly the time, but by pressing this button, you can force a refresh of, uh, of all that data. It's actually pretty good. So here on the on the uh, in the overview, we can actually quickly see. I installed that uh, uh, two days ago, and I haven't done any patching. But you you will see here a trend of you know how your patches, uh, both uh, critical, important, moderate, low, and etc., has been uh, moving. And same thing uh, with the vulnerabilities. I got a screenshot. Uh, about what, how this should look in a normal environment, and this is the the kind of view that uh, that you will get. So, what else uh, I like uh, from from the system? Well, we have the same view as before, and if you have a big fix inventory, which uh, my view is a must here. You, you can see, as, as before, the processes, you can see the, what software is installed, patches, all that is, uh, is the same. But there are some good things that I like. For example, in here, notice that I have the hashes as before, and there's this field here on, uh, on reputation, and that's the connection with the X-Force. So if you actually click on one of these hashes, notice that it's, it's been placed up here automatically, and the application will search and notice that it's, that it's looking into the big fixed data and see and see which other systems have uh, the, uh, a hash of, of this particular file. And I only have it on this uh, 203 machine. And, and that's actually, let me actually show you why I actually uh, wanted to put this in here. If I click on request reputation, that is going to make that API call to the X-Force. I'm going to say, what's the reputation for this? And you see that the, you know it says that reports as malware, uh, Trojan, and th that hash is definitely malicious. Let me actually go back to my uh, main view. And, and this, I did it to test the application. Uh, I place a malicious file on that uh, Win7 machine. This file that I uh, did the clicking, and notice it's actually going and, and, and fetching the information, this file is definitely malicious. And here is a view of the Win7 machine, and this is the bad rabbit uh, malware that I drop in here. And I wanted to test whether uh, the Big Fix app detected that, and notice how nicely it did. So you don't have to leave the, the, the curator console on the Big Fix app to check on the reputation of a particular file. Very nice and convenient. Other enhancements that I find interesting is that the application uh, has the, 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 the Big Fix app has improved the performance. It's more responsive uh, right now. It can handle up to 100,000 users. So this is ready for the big enterprises. And uh, of course, uh, to do that, one of the other things that it added is that it now has supports for the app node, so it can actually run on the actual app node. Uh, very nice app. I think this is com this complements tremendously uh, the, the investigations uh, done at the SOC. So I encourage you to give it a try.